God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. See, to, and, and, and also in this, what, what I've been getting is that, is to piggyback on what Jimmy and, and, and Lee had said, if you don't develop the relationship that is required with God, how can you know who you are? You have to cultivate that relationship so he can start giving you revelation yeah. of these words they are not just black and white white words and they're not just stories there are they are life yeah and then and this word is a mirror and unless you look into a mirror you will not know what you look like so you won't know what your spirit looks like unless you look into this mirror you have to identify yourself and identify the likeness that you have with god so that you cultivate that relationship and therefore you have confidence mm, go ahead, brother. into sharing what you know about the kingdom because you can't know about the kingdom unless you see the kingdom and what God has shown me is that there is only one way to look into the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. There's only one window, and that is the word of God. Uh -huh. Without looking through the word of God, you cannot see through the windows of heaven to get the fullness of what is there in your mind. There's, there's an aspect of it as well. I think you cannot... You see the know the kingdom of God unless you see it in yourself. Yeah, you know what? And, you know, and that, that becomes a very that's a very telling place. The, David said that where is a light, uh, where a lamp to my feet and a light into my path. Yeah. That's the gospel lets you know whether you're in the kingdom or not. But you you know I mean the Bible, the scriptures will let you know whether you're in the kingdom. The word will let you know if you are actually in the kingdom. Right. So you know that you're of God. By the love that you have for the brother, yeah, it, you know, it, it, it really causes because I, even even when we look at, I'm sorry, I'm, I understand, and I can put again. Uh, <laughs> remember when he said that uh, about the leaven that, that the kingdom of God is like leaven, right? And 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 if if the if the lump that's put in isn't leaven, it won't leaven the rest of the lump. Mm -hmm. So if you are that leaven that God has placed in the midst of somebody else, if you yourself are not leaven. You will not affect change in the other person. Right. It's not just our conversation that you know impacts the 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 the, 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 the being that the, another person's being. It's us ourselves. Yeah. So if I preach love all day, but I don't have love, that's going to be as evident. You know, it's just for preaching another gospel. Right. You gotta be. We have to be what we're trying to propagate. You, you leaven, know, unleaven can't leaven, unleaven. Exactly. You know, I like I like about what I get out of this the uh, the day and, and last week was when you move the subtitle away. The point I'm saying is it would have gotten where Brother Addison's focus was the unbelief that they had when Jesus upbraided them. I mean, that you ever notice that God revealing to you, this is what's critical for me right now. All that is critical. The whole scripture, that's why he said, go teach all the scriptures. But that particular reading of, the, of those passages, God revealed to you about, hey, I had to upbraid these people because they had unbelief in them. Mm -hmm. And it's critical that they have to believe in order to preach the gospel, the kingdom of the gospel, the gospel of Christ. The, you know, any aspect of the gospel is being going to be missed if they couldn't believe. Yeah, if they're not partakers of it, they can't propagate it. Right. So that's what, so, so, so Bishop, I guess, I, and I finished with this, I'm saying is the point of moving the subtitles out of the way. Is because when God reveals, because God is working on different aspects of us 
at different times. So when you study the scriptures, and that's why he wants you to be able to study without being skewed, is because there's certain things he wants to reveal to you. Amen. Well, in this case, the unbelief. Go ahead. If you go back to that text. Uh, he, he was talking about you. don't have to go there. I'm just doing, I'm just looking at okay. how, how always the text, the truth that is trying to that is being set before us for us to think about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it is it Jesus wanted them to understand that in order to be an effective preacher of the gospel, uh -huh. you have to have uh, and believe the gospel yourself. Yes, yes, sir. In other words. The gospel is not so much proclaimed with words as it is with your life. Yeah. 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 Now he said before he he didn't just overlook that. It said he upbraided them. He did. Yeah. 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 Say, yeah. I, I think that right now, if he were in our midst, he'd uh -huh. upbraid us. <laughs> he'd upbraid us because when you come when it comes down to the practical aspect of the gospel now. Yeah. It, We've been talking about power, we've been talking about anointing, we've been talking about love, yeah. but none of us are no good in this setting. That is useful only when we turn the zoom off, like uh, Brother Zach was saying earlier. He says, I got to leave here and go, I got to go sit in the midst of some people who think differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What really matters is, is that when we turn zoom off and we go to our various places and whatever we're going to do, it is there that this anointing, it is there that this power, it is there that this love becomes most relevant. Oh, Lord, yeah. You follow me? Yes, sir. So you read the verse earlier said that that, that when, when when things are rightly aligned, signs follow. Mm. That's Lee is, uh... Now here's what I've been looking at. I, I just want to make this one point. Mm. I'm no different from the rest of you. Uh, I, I studied this book. Uh, I, I, I get with God to try to get right. And what I'm really interested now in, I'm interested in, in can the reality of what is proclaimed in this book, what is set forth in this book, can that reality, can I actually enter into that reality? Can I, can I, in the midst of all of this injustice and hatred and all of this foolishness, can I somehow get so in touch with God, get so in view with the life of God, mm -hmm. what, what, what the, the outcome of that is not something that happens in my flesh, but it's something that, that happens, I respond to what the Spirit of God and what Christ is doing in me. Yeah. See, th th see here's, here's a real problem. See, to get this thing out into the highways and byways in real life is, is the issue. You see, when Jesus went and preached, he wasn't just blowing smoke. Right, right. But when, when Jesus opened his mouth, yes, sir. the power of God was present. In yes, one sir. place to say, and the power of God was present to heal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what we have to do is understand that God is seeking now to make us an extension of that. Christ doesn't have a physical body, now he's got ours. Mm. That the hands that he wants to use now are, 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 are the hands of the birth certificate person called Lee McCance and, and, and Addison and, and, and Johnson and Hill. These are his hands now. Mm. And this is the mouth and the voice that he wants to use. Yes, sir. And what can he now continue the work? Woo! Continue the ministry that he started when he was here in the physical body. Right. He left, sent his spirit back, and filled every believer that embraced the gospel of the kingdom. And now they become, Ephesians 5 said, we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bone. Yes, sir. And so what I'm wanting to know now is can I actually enter into the reality? where the life of God is evidenced, expressed, mm. manifested in me and through me. Yes, sir. So when you talk about love, you see, the, the reason that we're having the problem with love, I think, and it is a central component, 
Uh, I made a note on yesterday. I made a note that says, you got me quoting the uh, First Corinthians 13. Yes, sir. And it says that if you don't have love, then you can do all these things. Uh -huh. But there's no profit in them. Come on now. And pretty much what that says is that is that love, if you could, like, my favorite verse now in Galatians chapter 5, where it says that faith itself yeah. working works by love. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when you couple all that together, what it says is, is that love fuels and undergirds all the other gifts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That makes sense? Yeah. Absolutely. Faith, love undergirds all of the other gifts. And if, when, when this love is not present, uh -huh. All those other things are worthless in the sight of God. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And they are. They really are worthless. So now, they, don't, they don't have the power to change the other person. But you can't live in if you don't have any living in you. If you're not living, you can't live in somebody else. So if the love of God is not operating in me and through me, if it hasn't transformed me, I'm not going to be too effective at transforming the lives of anybody else. I, I can't be used to do that. So that that and that has that has truly become i think uh it's not something we can give ourselves it's not something we can intellectualize it we literally have to get that from god yeah the love of god has to be imparted to us by god himself but now so here's the problem so why is this love so seemingly a struggle for us pride has a lot to do with it ignorance has a lot to do with it first of all i ain't gonna tell you no lie I approach Christianity from an intellectual perspective in this. Yeah, I tendency to do that. I, I, I think about it. I want to know the secrets. I want to know the, the methodologies. I want to know all this. I want to know how it works. But when it gets in there and really get it and doing the job, sometimes I want to stand off from it and kind of look at everybody else do it. Because what it really comes down to is getting in there and getting your hands dirty with people. You got to so get in there. You think the problem is ignorance? Sir? You think the problem is ignorance? Yeah, it was at one point, it really was, because I didn't understand, I did not understand the necessity for involvement. You can't love people that you don't interact with. And so you have to, I mean, I, I, and, and again, for me, it's on the street. I, last week I got embarrassed really badly because this is one guy came out there, he smelled like all, like hell. And I really took a standoff and approach to this guy because he was funky, right? I looked around and and, 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 and and Roman had embraced the guy. He was over there shaking hands with him, <laughs> him pulled him all up close and he was over there talking to buddy buddy. And the Lord showed me showed me, me at that point. He said, uh -uh, this ain't it. What you're doing is, is like, I'm, you're singing at him, you're talking at him, but you ain't embracing him. And it was a simple act as what this man just oh, went over there and grabbed this stinky guy and, and pulled him closer and started talking to him. With me, I ain't gonna tell you a lie. The smell of this dude was to the point you could smell him at a social distance, <laughs> if that makes sense to you. <laughs> you know, he is more lethal than COVID. But <laughs> if you could not smell him, you can, there's no way you're gonna get infected by COVID from him. So, and, I, and, that, and that affected me. Elder. Yes, sir. Of course, I think Vince was asking though, all I'm asking is, is instead of ignorance, could it be called the hardness of heart? No, for me, at that point, I didn't realize. I mean, I was even questioning. I mean, it that manifested the other day, but I, I know that it was there. I, I know, I know it's there now. Initially, I didn't. This is, I thought, uh, I thought uh, Christ was about this getting close to the cross. Fellowship, fellowship. I thought, was, you know, I thought Christianity was about getting close to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But Christianity is about getting close to people as well, and you can't really demonstrate the love of God to God or you don't him unless you demonstrate it to, to people. But see, that's that's critical right there because see, now you, you, you use this word demonstrate, but now I, I want to know what, Johnson thinks it's ignorant. I, I'm, the real, I'm just want to know what everybody else is thinking. Well, why, love is hey, if love is so central, if love is the foundational critical element, and yet we know from what we've had in this discussion this morning that it is absolutely uh, uh, the determining factor. Uh -huh. Why is it that we're having such problems in being these loving people? Well, I think, like when I say ignorance, a lot of times I don't think we know what it looks like. 
I really don't think we understand what loving somebody look like. Hey, it's can I get the other guy? Hey, that's what I'm saying. Hey, let, let me chime in. And I'm going to say this like this here. And, and y'all will take it any way you want to take it. Oh, this, is, this is the answer right here. Okay. Because I don't think nobody earned my love. Oh. Wow. Damn. <laughs> you said earn? He said that. I, I, that. That's the answer. Because, like you said, said earn. Yeah, because now, now at the same time, like I said, Did it's you say self- earn? It yes, did. it's a selfish. It's a. I'm, I'm, I'm being real. This okay, is but you say earn. E A R N. E A R N. Yes, but this is a selfish answer. But it's the truth. And a lot of times, the things that we do and deal with, and can't understand or grapple with. The concept of God, Jesus, and all that is like that word earn. A lot of times we don't think we earn. Wow. We don't think we deserve it. Oh, you're talking about we now? You're talking about Yeah, yeah, we. All, all, I'm, I'm going back back to man because we don't okay. deserve it. Oh, okay, okay. okay. That was one, one, all right. All right. One one now, 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 I just want to say one thing, yeah. Chris. Just uh-huh. one thing. You're saying that we didn't earn God's love. Or no one's earned my Ain't love. No one's earned mine either. That's what I'm saying. It's a duality to this, because you, I hate to say, we all don't, we ain't gonna say it. We all don't walk around like we're God, our own little universe. Look and, we don't, and, and we yeah. don't. Yeah. I go back to what um. They went to that, but he said it. He's done it up right now. I'm going back to what um what Brother Johnson said, and in a roundabout way, I'm going that guy that he that he saw. Or, or he looked at him, he disqualified. Him. I ain't gonna say he didn't love him and all that, but I'll use my what my analogy is. I didn't love him. <laughs> yeah, that's, exactly. that's what I'm saying. So now him. you you that's what you choose. You can right. choose because people or whoever it is don't earn the the right for you to love him. Because like that thing we're going through right now with this with what's going on in the White House and this COVID nineteen. We supposed to show all this compassion and love, but did that joker earn it? <laughs> That's See, a good but one. but I, I hear you, Chris. Mm-hmm. Uh, and 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 I can honestly say there there has been a time in my life where that was just it for me. But I can tell you this, mm-hmm. since I have been making it a point in my life to walk in the spirit, that has changed. It has truly changed my life because I try to walk in the spirit and in and, and doing so, I know that there is a love that goes out that I try not to look at people in and of themselves. I try to look at these are potential people that need the gospel. And so if I'm walking in love, when I walk across somebody who is uh, doing stuff like, like, for instance, like our, our current president, I had issues with that man. I really, really did. I mean, and, and, and I said it before, I truly thought this man had been turned over to a reprobate mind. So it was nothing in me that had any compassion, any love toward that man at all. You still do. No, that's not true. (laughs) That is not true. That is not true. Because we read, and Pastor knows, we read the story about King Nebuchadnezzar. Never. Never, Nebuchadnezzar. And when we read that, and I saw how God changed that man's heart, and he reminded me so much of our current president because all he does is I, 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 I. And Nebuchadnezzar did the same thing. And when I saw how God changed that man's life, Mm. then I realized that there was hope for this current president. And I began to pray for this man and I began to have hope for him. And even even when he got this COVID, though my flesh wanted to say, yeah, that shows you right. I just prayed for that man. So God's word is actually changing my aspect upon people. And that's what it should do. And that's what it's there for. Now I'll tell you my opinion of it, uh, 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 Bishop. I think that uh, it's because of uh, 
programming, uh, thinking. I mean, uh, the media, I think, is what we expose ourselves to. I think that, uh, again, as we were talking earlier, because we've been programmed what to think, I think that gets in the way of the true love of God uh, being 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 predicated and shown in our lives toward others. I think it's mental. I think it's the, it's the renewing of the mind aspect of it that it's not been renewed to a certain thing. And I think if we continue to expose ourselves to propaganda to the wrong media to different voices to different opinions to different hate speech it's going to be difficult even more to convey the love of god i think it's uh, i think it's i think it's the mind the mindset of programming of mankind that gets in the way of that that, that would be my answer but you know if, while you're talking this is just a third and, and i think it was the revelation that god revealed more to addison that i think is the definition because under that, when we move the subtitle out of the way, the first verse becomes the maybe the emphasis of everything else is when he appeared unto them, unto the loving, and sat in meat, and he upbraided them because you know because of with their unbelief and hardness of heart, and I think that is what I think even the elder that's the hardness of heart, not embrace and hug the person yet his his brother his fellow witness was able to embrace this guy because he had not a, a hardened heart toward this woman because if you look at a child you if anybody a child in the street right now elder child if the elder child was smelling the way that man was smelling that still would not have stopped him from hugging this child no, no, no. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Go you know. <laughs> <laughs> wash your behind, boy, and then come back over here. Just open the water over. He's got here something to jump up into. Go ahead. But I'm not altogether sure that just because he embraced the guy and talked to the guy, that that is an indication that love is operating. Yes. Amen. Uh, now, here's what I'm trying to get at. So, we all say that God is love. And we all say that. We have God dwelling in us. Can I get it with me? Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. All of us, all of us on doing this Zoom are, are, are believers, and we believe that the Spirit of God is in us. It means that we have God Himself living in us. Amen. Yes, sir. There's no question about whether or not we have access to the source of love. Yes. Right. The problem is, is that do we understand how God can gain <laughs> dominion? and rule and reign in us in such a way that he can express, that he can evidence, that he can demonstrate, that he can manifest yes. his love through us. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, see, I'm not trying to, I realize now, I'm not trying to come up with love. And that might be the problem that most of us have. We get in these situations, we're trying to come up with something. Uh-huh. See, you're, you're not going to be able to come up with something. And even if you do, if you come up with a counterfeit that looks good, God ain't impressed. Woo! Man, it, it, it ain't no good. It, it, it's worthless. So, it's the spirit so, ram doesn't respond to that. To, 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 to. So if you don't have, if you don't have the real deal. Nothing gonna happen. Is it for God to somehow gain what He really wants, and that is full dominion, full control, full reign in our lives, so that in any given situation. And listen to me very carefully because you, you, you might want to kind of think about this. I narrowed this thing down that under any given situation, God can 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 use you by way of voice control. A voice control. Yes, sir. I, 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 I,